Hello, my name is Chris Johnson, and I'm the product specialist for OGP products for Cross Company. And welcome to our series of tips, tricks, and how to get things done using Zone 3 software. Hello, and welcome to our tip on how to do a quick align to a CAD model. Okay, so what I'm going to discuss today is how we go about setting up a CAD model in video alignment to help us navigate the part. This is in a, a first alignment, so it's going to be called a rough alignment before you get into the final. But let's go through that. It's very simple. With Zone 3, we select our Import CAD option. We then choose our CAD model. And here I'm using the OGP training part to bring in its, its CAD units. Select OK. And we can see it brings in the OGP training part onto the stage. And we can see there's no association yet. So I'll select Save, and that saves that CAD model. So we can see as it sits on the stage, it's in a different location than where it actually is with the machine, but we're going to fix that. So I'm going to zoom in on the training part. And what I'm going to look for is a corner, a, a one point where I can say, this is where I want to start from. And in this case, I'm going to use the corner of one of these scalloped cutouts. So to do that, it's simply just three clicks. We'll select our point, the tool we want to use to measure, and in this case, I'm going to use a crosshair. And then we select the CAD model to associate. And as we bring the mouse over top of the CAD model, it's going to snap to that intersection point. We'll simply click there to identify it, and then click on the part itself, and then select Save. Those two points are now associated together. We we'll can create our temporary alignment on point number one. Select Save. And if we look at the screen, we see the blue box on the CAD model, which represents the camera. I'll turn the machine back on, and now we can see the part has actually shifted into the machine, so it matches exactly what is on the stage. Now that we have this done, we can select anywhere we want to travel on the part to do a measurement. If we want to go to the opposite side of the scallop, we just simply left click and the machine will drive to the left side. If we want to measure a hole diameter, we simply zoom in on the hole we want to measure and click on it and the machine travels to that hole and is ready for measurement. So that's doing our quick and easy alignment to CAD. It gets you there for a basic alignment. Your next steps would be to go measure your actual datums and do a formal alignment.